Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. This is EU4. We are, of course, playing as Ming. And we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. We are doing pretty darn good the entire world over. I'm pretty happy with the progress that we're making. Uh, we recently just circumnavigated the entire world. Uh, and that is, that's, that's not bloody bad, if you ask me. We are currently spending a hell of a lot on colonization. Um, more so than we were, but our colony just literally became self-sufficient there, so we're now uh, back to making a bunch of money. Um, so that's kind of nice. This is going to be the last episode in this series, by the way. I think that we, um, I think, you know, we've done, we've done a lot. We have done a, a lot, 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 lot. And I'm really happy with, uh, with our, our little... A little foray into the brand new expansion, but I honestly think that we've gotten most of the stuff that we want out of uh, out of the game. Let's put the gold era in, since uh, oh everything is gold now. Uh, since we might as well, we might as well if uh, if this is going to be our last episode. Um, anyway, as I was saying, the only thing that we don't get to uh, get to muck around with is the next two ages, which is a little bit of an annoyance. Um, sure. Uh, it's a little bit of an annoyance. We don't get to uh, have three trade companies, multiple universities, potential for the large army, absolutism, emperor of China, multicultural nation, win religious wars. Um, honestly, we would absolutely be able to do that, but by the time that we get around to doing it, it just, it just would not be... It just wouldn't be fun. Like, I mean, already we are starting to see that uh, that our entire nation is, you know, it's it's good. We're we're doing great. Uh, don't get me wrong, but uh, I I feel that we're we're doing almost too well. Like, I think Ming needs some uh, some serious changes because we're bloody Ming. You know, we uh, we shouldn't really be colonizing a whole bunch of places. But here we are. Here we are. Anyway, I'm going to send some new colonists to some new places. Why? Mostly because I can. Uh, try and get all of Mexico. Uh, I will lose 10 prestige. We've got uh, an okay amount of prestige right now. Uh, Potatoes Colombia is struck by rebels at this current moment in time. Not exactly ideal, but alas, it is what it is. Uh, we could build some stuff over in this area, but I don't really feel the need to do that at all. Whoa, the Netherlands declare independence. There we go. There, there we go. Oh, no, wait, this is Holland. Are the Netherlands different? Is that it? Oh, that's, that's, that is only, that is Netherlands. The Netherlands have Calais. Okay, well, that's, uh, it's something, it's, it's something, that's for sure. I really would like to see how the hell Europe is doing, because, uh, I don't know, I just haven't really been out over there, uh, in ages, actually. Trade steering, plus 25%, don't mind if I do. We don't really need any Diplotech anyway at the moment, I mean, does it give us anything? May sabotage recruitment? Oh. Global settler increase, no. Colonial range, meh. Naval maintenance, meh. Early frigate galleon. I mean, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice one, but uh, I mean, we can colonize anywhere on the entire planet at the moment. We've gotten pretty much the entirety of Australia. Uh, speaking of the entirety of Australia, have we not managed to just wrestle Australia back into submission yet? I feel that we should honestly be... Oh, fuck off. Uh, I feel that we should have beaten Australia. We should have, like, finished uh, colonizing Australia. I really do. I don't know why we haven't done that as of yet. Maybe I'll dedicate one of my one of my dudes to just go and work in Australia. I'm just going to try and get so many colonies that we're going to, you know, we're going to start going into the negative cash area. But let's, let's be real for a second, right? Let's be real for a second. We are never, ever, 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 ever going to be running out of money. So that's exactly, I feel this is a nice, a nice place uh, with which to, to leave, so to speak. Uh, but we're colonizing these places. We're going to colonize this as well. As soon as this, as soon as this colonist arrives, we're going to be, 
We're gonna be dragging him back home. You know what I find silly is I don't know why the colonists can't just like walk over here and then be in like Ming territory and then walk back and then start colonizing that area. That to me does not make much sense at all. Um, okay, let's recall you. And then let's just try and finish Australia off. I feel that's probably a nice little a nice little challenge. We don't have any troops over here, but that's not a big deal. One, two, three, four, five provinces to conquer. They've got a bunch of ships. They got fourteen transport ships. At least. Yeah, fourteen transport ships and about fourteen light ships as well. Uh, so that's that's pretty damn impressive all in all It wasn't even that difficult to get to where we needed to go. So Man this whole colonizing thing. It's done me. It's done me a world of wonder. It has done me a world of wonder I'm so rich. I'm so filthy 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 stinking rich right now Speaking of filthy stinking rich. Can I get another merchant and fast negotiation caravan power? I would very very much like that I'm actually super ready to have that full Diplo power. In fact, I'm so ready for it that I feel that we should probably try and encourage Diplo power. There we go. 11 Diplo power per month. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's do it. Uh, how are we doing in terms of institution spreading? That's another thing that I feel that uh, we've not really managed to get a handle on. Yeah, not not to the best extent. Anyway, oh great! As I as I'm watching, it just uh, flicks on over. Yeah, no, there is a significant part of our area that just just can't get any institution. Uh, what do you have here? Renaissance? Just no, just no. That even does that doesn't even count as a an adjacent province, believe it or not. Okay, wow. Interesting. You got the protect local trade modifier on the province. That's cool, but I feel that Japan has renaissance and it would have spread across the sea by now. I feel that it would have. Uh, diplo technology cost or diplomatic technology cost plus 10%. Uh, sure. I mean, we're not going to buy anything with our diplo points. All that we're going to do is buy an idea. Flanders joins the Republic. Man, there's so much interesting stuff going on in Europe that I really can't... I really can't look at. The Ottomans have completely wiped out the Mamluks. I imagine that they're up at the top. Wow, 191%. I am the greatest power in the world. Like, I I am. I absolutely am. Like, don't, don't let anyone tell you that I'm not. We're only making three ducats a month. What a joke. Um, yeah, no, don't let anyone tell you that I'm not the greatest power in the entire world. We're about to go seriously negative, by the way. 52 bucks for a colony. 52 bucks. 52 bucks. But we'll be finishing up uh, a bunch of colonies very, very soon indeed. I should hope. Yep, and we're going to get a colonist arriving over here. And then we're instantly going to recall both of them. Because they're both going to be placed down in Australia. That's the plan as it stands anyway. Why? Why the hell not? Come on, 22 and 5. There we go. Recall you. And we'll just stick around and wait for this. Losing 69 ducats. Uh, also, someone rose up. Let me guess. It was in Australia? Please go and fix this. Uh, okay, or not. Just do whatever. Do whatever you want, I guess, then. Uh, recall the dude from here. We're now losing 169 ducats. That latest colony. Is there a cap? Is there a cap on the number of colonies that you can have before it starts getting so expensive? A hundred, a hundred bucks for that one colony plus 4,900%. Bear in mind that a basic colony just costs two bucks or two pieces of gold per, per, uh, per cycle or whatever. 166 days. 190 days. Am I really going to have to go and deal with this? I'm 
Galray joins the Republic. Don't really care. Um, I'm sure we used to be able to see the HRE, but now we can't. So that's a shame. Head on over here. So they're not able to damage our entire colony. Uh, I think we should be able to arrive there. You've already got a general equipped, so we don't really need to worry about that. Grand, grand, grand. Unhappiness among the peasantry. I'll lose a bunch of ducats. Nice. Good win. Good win, everyone. Good win all round. 169 ducats. I'm just excited to see the the next levels, really. That'll be really exciting. Uh, so you're arriving in 64 days. I feel that we might actually manage to get some more colonies by 64 days. Uh, yep, so you'll probably be finished. You might be finished. You might be finished. Okay, so maybe one colony will be finished. Which is a little bit of a shame. Because I'm so curious. We're actually losing so much money. <laughs> even in our golden age. Even in our golden age. We're, we're, we're losing uh, an inordinate. Inordinate amount of money. Alright, how much money are we losing now? Minus 300. Have we finally hit the cap? Nope, we're still going 6,400%. Recall you. Send you. We can totally sustain this. This is, this is like proper, now we're, you know, you know, we're probably playing as China. We're investment banking the entire world. Um, another uprising over there. That's fine. How much now? How much does it cost for that single colony? 168, 164 ducats, should I say. Wow. Which means that we're cumulatively losing 299. Oh, no, now we just lost our last one. So we just stopped losing uh, a bunch of money. Which is kind of nice, I suppose. Uh, I'll gain one base tax. Would I be able to get some boats to do t some uh, transporting, please? No, not you. Yes, you. Yeah, okay. You guys attach... And then you drive to here. There we go. Good enough for me. It'll probably end up killing that colony, unfortunately. Which ends up saving us a ridiculous amount of cash, but whatever, I suppose. Okay. Native uprising over here, which we actually can't deal with at all. So we're going to be forced to save yet more money. This is honestly my worst nightmare. Honestly, my worst nightmare. Uh, our only troops that are taking attrition are over there. That's perfect. We can get our last idea, thank goodness. Fast negotiations and caravan power. That will actually have a remarkable change, I think. So, minus 169 goes to 69. I suspect because of a colony. Yeah, colony died. That kind of sucks. Okay, maneuver you over here. And you're almost done. There's a bunch of places that are actually almost done. Yeah. It's just a bit of fun, right? It's just a bit of fun. Might as well try and build up uh, as big an empire as, as technically possible in the remaining time that we have before the end of the episode, which is also the end of the series. It's been a good one. I feel that I've actually learned like a shit ton about EU4, which is actually rather unusual. Uh, first fleet, which is this one? What's this one called? The first fleet. Yeah, okay, transport over there. Okay, little bit of a rebel uprising over there. Not much that I can really do about it right now. My troops are rather spread out across the entire country, so I'm just going to leave you to it. Uh, fantastic. We, uh, ended up... We did end up losing about two grand or so, but I mean, two grand for us is kind of just pocket change, really, you know? Yeah, it's kind of just pocket change. Kind of just pocket change. Recall you. And send you here. Can we actually get these boats here in a timely manner? Yep, 
Yeah, how long is it going to take to disembark? Sixth of August? I mean, that's pretty good. That's that's very that's good timing actually. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad at all. Split up and head over there. We're losing a lot of money again, but I I don't care. I don't care. I'm not bothered. I think getting Australia at least mostly colonized is uh, a good little a good little quest. You know what I mean? Good little quest. Uh, if we are if we're able to get the next level of Diplotech, then that will help us greatly, because uh, it'll increase global settler increase, which is of course the way that we build up all of our uh, numerous numerous colonies. So. There you go. 95 settlers per year, mostly just because of the fact that this place is tropical. It's kind of fucking it up a little bit, but honestly, not that big deal for us. Uh, we're very, very close to colonizing a bunch of extra land in Mexico, which is really, really nice. And Australia is coming along nicely. Yep. Yeah. It seems that Potatoes Australia just stopped expanding. I mean, there's no more places, right? I'm pretty sure that they've got every place there is. Every region that there is. Yeah, did they just stop expanding? That's kind of lame. I'm not going to lie, guys. You didn't even expand up here. Well, hey, I now control. I now control the big wasteland. So it actually looks kind of similar, I suppose. Okay, move over here. New Diplotech, uh, sorry, not new Diplotech, new Admin Tech, which we'll take, just because I can, really, more than anything else. Uh, university would be very, very nice for the next age, because we need multiple universities for the next age, apparently. That's the Age of Absolutism. Um, and we would do very well in that age, but unfortunately, I'm not willing to stick around and, and play it through as much as I have enjoyed this campaign immensely. Oh, we get an extra merchant. Let's... Uh, Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's steer trade up to here, I guess, if we can. Uh, we can't, so that's a bit of a waste. Uh, where can we steer trade from? We're already steering it from, like, an America, uh, over in America, right? Oh, we're only steering it up there. Well, let's steer it down here. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so we got that extra merchant, of course, from finishing that idea group, which is lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, the trade manipulation and the caravan power, both of which I think will actually be really, really nice. Of course, it's kind of unbelievably deceptive because we've now got such a... You know, we're now investing so heavily in our colonies that the majority, the majority of our expenses are literally just coming from, like, three colonies, right? Yeah, the majority of our expenses, the last three colonies that we placed, are unbelievably expensive. But honestly, I feel that I feel that I personally have uh, have learned a lot from from this little uh, from this little little playthrough. It's been very very enjoyable to uh, very very enjoyable indeed. Um, I'm gonna crush rebels, attack natives, even whatever. That's good news, and then you can just chill out over here. Now there is zero natives. So you can take that as you will. Did someone damage a colony? Oh, that's annoying. Gain one stability for doing nothing? Oh, okay. I mean, that works for me. Did that just turn purple, or, or am I just, like, imagining that? I'm pretty sure that just turned purple. Are you a vassal now? Yeah, you're a vassal of Itza. I, I thought as much. I thought as much. I suspected uh, a shenanigan like that. Uh, did you manage to finish off the rebels, uh, Columbia? Potatoes, Columbia. Looks like you did. Impressive, to say the least. Impressive. Uh, yeah, okay. In fact, let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look at institutions. Institutions are spreading slowly but surely. Slowly, 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 but surely, surely, surely. Oh, it's actually gonna it's gonna spread up here. 
What is what's the amount of institution in this area? Wow, it's fucking slow. It's fucking slow. It's a little bit annoying, but alas, that's that's the world that we live in. I feel like I want to play a little bit more just to see if we can accomplish a little bit more stuff. Oh no. And we're just about to beat some more rebels over there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And Australia. Oh man, Australia is looking so good. Look at that. If only Potatoes Australia had a little bit more a little bit more commitment. Commitment, Potatoes Australia. That's all you needed. Commitment. Is that it's got the entirety of South America, actually? I think that's uh, that's it, right? Uh, if we put a conquistador in charge of in charge of you, we can still go exploring a little bit. But I think that that's most of it. In fact, did we just like did we just like? I'm pretty sure that an event just happened, which I just absolutely wasn't watching. But there we go. We've now discovered the entire world, which is actually uh, a rather lovely a lovely place to end on. I feel. It's rather poetic in a in a way. Uh, we're waiting for Mosquito and Nicaragua. Of course, would later become the country. Uh, we're waiting. Oh, wow. Looks like there was an uprising. Looks like it was crushed. Feels bad, man. Uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty much in charge of the entire world. And I'm convinced that we are the ultimate victors of this campaign. Even though it doesn't look like we're actually at the top of the leaderboard. I... Ugh, God. Printing press and renaissance, both not embraced. I feel... Ah, there's nothing that I can do about that. And it's absolutely fucking shredding my technology costs. And shredding in a bad way. I need 1,003 power. Usually I'd only need 400. Or 600, whatever it is. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, man. Okay, Nicaragua is done. And as soon as Mosquito is done, I think we'll, uh, we'll wrap things up here. Because I think we've had a great run. I think we've had a bloody good run. Bloody good run, old chap. Which one's Mosquito? Uh, Nicaragua. Nicaragua's done, but Nicaragua's not being gifted. I guess I can gift it, like, manually, right? I say gift it manually. It is literally gifting manually. What does this bar do? Next, treasure fleet. Oh, nice. We get a treasure fleet. Oh, we also get a treasure fleet from, uh... Oh, because it's like up fleet, uh, but uh, upstream. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh no, it needs to be downstream in order for it, for it to get to us. That's fine. Uh, and we would also be in for another merchant as soon as uh, Potatoes Brazil gains ten cities. So we're actually not far off that either. Uh, what was I gonna do? I was gonna gift some stuff to Potatoes Colombia, Grant Province. There we go. Grant Province. Pipple. There we go. Two provinces granted. Lovely, lovely, lovely indeed. And whilst this has all been happening, Mosquito is coming along very, very nicely indeed. Uh, Potatoes Australia looks, looks damn fine, if I do say so myself. A force to be reckoned with. Not even 1600, and we've got pretty much the entirety of Australia. Uh, a good chunk of South America and advancing at a very, very rapid rate. The entirety of the West Coast of America. Man, Ming, man. Ming is nuts. I mean, if you look at the colonial powers, I mean, they've barely got anything in comparison to us. I mean, maybe... Maybe Spain a little bit, I suppose. They've got quite a lot of territory down here, but... That's about it. Portugal's got fuck all. Portugal's got absolute fuck all. Uh, England has got, like, three different places up the coast. Uh, sure. Three different places up the coast. One, two, and then three over there. Is that England as well? No, that's not England. Yeah, they've got three places up the entirety of, of America, and we've got three colonial nations on these on these countries. So, 
That is pretty nuts. Anyway, ladies and gents, I'm definitely going to be playing another Paradox game very, very, very soon indeed. So um, be sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, but for now and for me, my name, of course, has been Old Potato. This has been EU4 playing, of course, as Ming in the brand new, I say brand new, relatively speaking, uh, Mandate of Heaven expansion. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.